Hello, Brian Jorgensen with Bud's Machine Tool Sales. Today we're going to go over a Cross guillotine shear. It's a RAS 126. It's a unique shear. It actually is for wire mesh cutting. And I'll demonstrate that later how this works. But first we're going to go over the control panel. As you can indicate here, this indicates we have power to the machine. This right here turns hydraulics on. This right here is our um, NC controller. It can save 20 steps and 90 programs in this controller. Uh, to go ahead and put a new position in simply, and this is in millimeters, simply goes to that position for you. And we got our manual and auto modes. We also got our angle settings here, which you can indicate where you're at as far as your rake angle on your shear blade where it's adjusted to. And this is, actually is always activated where you can move your back gauge anytime by just pushing these two buttons. So it's pretty simple control, but very effective too and user friendly, I think. Just gonna demonstrate how this shear is different than others. As you can see here, this right here has a solid piece hold down that goes across the whole width of the shear. So it holds the material no matter what, so it has no gaps that are missing as far as when it cuts. Um, if we can put the camera here, we can kind of see it operating. demonstrate cutting a piece of wire mesh. It's 3 sixteenths. Nice clean cut as you can tell. And as you can tell why a conventional shear would have a problem here is if your hold down goes in here or messes these holes, you're going to have a problem with that tilt up, causing issues with your cut and also damaging the shear. We don't have this with this design of a shear. <clears throat> and while we're back here, this uses a ball screw back gauge. You can tell it's very robust. You got your variable rake. You also got your um, blade gap adjustment back here, which is very simple and easy to change. Just pop that and adjust it wherever you need to. And if you can kind of peer under here with the camera, you can kind of see how these are protected, your ball screws, and how you can keep, you know, how strong that is and how you got an accurate back gauge with this shear also. One other thing I forgot to mention while we were in the front, you also can adjust your um, hold down pressure. You got a valve right here to adjust your hold down pressure. Another feature of it. So, and that um, concludes the demonstration on this year today. Please give us a call for any questions or applications we may help you with. Thank you.